We fight for truth and justice. Green Lantern's life. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy, Race Blaze. It's been a while, man. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I was able to make this dash effect. Now, keep in mind, this is, you know, I try to put this in my, you know, in my film that I made, but it kind of looked like a video game to me, but I just kind of removed it and kept the distortion only. But I'm kind of liking it right now, to be honest, especially with the lantern, you know. So, um, yeah, it looks pretty dope, you know. I was playing Injustice 2 and um, I discovered that they had a little bit of dash when they run. So, uh, especially when Superman or Supergirl, they speed up, they have, you know, quite a bit of dash. And we are going to be creating that for the Flash in this video as well. So, uh, keep in mind, I'll stay in touch. So, I'm just going to show you guys how I created this, okay? It's not really complicated. So, uh, let me bring this here. So pretty much um, for house, you know, um, dash effect, I had, uh, let's see here, the curve along. So pretty much you just need to get this node and um, the material that was used was actually, let me see here. Uh, I don't, I don't know the name. So, th sorry, this is a mesh renderer. So pretty much we use the mesh for that. And I spawned the raid by 50 change the distortion to 20 and yeah that gave me this kind of look and then added the color and some sort of like uh, emission light so i'm really bad at explaining effects i just know how to do it <laughs> so pretty much that's how this effect was made and then for um for superman i sort of like um had different curves as you guys can see the curves here Actually, let me see if I can. Can I can I move this like this? The curves actually emulates different colors, so the blue and the red. Now, the reason why I did that was because of their suit, okay, and the cape. So yeah, you can do that if you want. But yeah, I, again, I saw this at um, Injustice Two, and I decided to copy that. So we had two curves with different colors, and pretty much I decided to add a smoke when he's speeding up because I saw that in Man of Steel, and I thought that was pretty cool to do. So here's the smoke effect, so this is smoke inf impact, and then there's a smoke along that follows the smoke impact. Pretty interesting. You know, and pretty much that's all the effect. So again, it's not that complicated. You just, I just like it, you know, and it worked nicely for me. And also I decided to remove the emission. As you can see, there is no light emission coming from the, from the, the particles. I don't think it's necessary, you know, because it's like speed, you know? So let's sort of like experiment that on the flash, okay? So we're gonna do this in this video. Now, keep in mind, let me just show you guys in Injustice 2 how the flash runs, okay? You guys, let's pay attention to how they run. Crowd said you couldn't resist a good crisis. Eel Barthon? You don't belong here. And miss the return of Barry Allen? So you see, there's a little bit of lightning coming out of him. And then a dash. So that's sort of what we want to do. But y'all can see that. So you can see, that, yeah, it's it's very interesting. But we're gonna see that in the details. Look at that. So there is lightning and dash. Okay. You see that? So we are gonna create something like that. Okay. Okay, so we get we get the idea. So something like that, you know. So uh, pretty much, again, this is based on your animation. So I'm just gonna bring in a character here called the Flash. So we are gonna try to give him a bit of um dash effect, obviously. So I'm gonna go to 
uh, let's see. And I think this is the dash. So we're going to call this flash dash. Okay. Let's bring the effects on here. You see, we have this crazy thing. So this is basically the Superman dash. All right. So pretty much. Yeah. So now I'm going to attach this flash dash to our character. Just so that when he's moving, it can follow him. Now, what we want to do is to actually sort of like change the coordinates of all this. So I'm going to remove the smoke because I don't need the smoke. Now, again, I'm going to show you guys here because, you know, I'm just tweaking the settings. That's all you have to do. So now we have just this and pretty much I'm going to remove this glow. I don't think I need the glow. So now I think we can actually have the red and the yellow, because if you guys look at the, if you look at the speed, I think he's actually reddish and yellowish a little bit. Okay. Just cause of the gold, you know, design on his suit. So again, I'm just going by, you know, the reference in injustice. So let's start with um, one of the curves. So this is the blue curve. So I'm going to change this to, let's change this to red real quick. So red, kind of like red. Yeah. Something like that. And then I am going to increase the size to cover its entire body. Okay. Now, obviously I'm going to push this really back because you know, this is, should be here. You know what I mean? So let's just push this back. And now we can scale the mesh size. Let's see, make this. So y'all see that if we change this, the, the coordinates to that, so we can have something better. I want it to cover like, kind of like the, kind of like to the head. But look at that, it's coming out of, nah, it's too big. Let's reduce this to five or maybe three. Okay, that's too small now. <laughs> I think 0.5 is okay. And uh, let's see. Yeah, 0.5 as well. Okay. Uh, let me see what this does. Oh, no, no. So this is actually the, the X axis. I'll leave that as one. Now, again, you can actually make this very, very long. So as you guys can see here, I can actually extend the effect to 10 and it's going to be freaking long. So again, it just depends on what you really want to do with it. You know, I don't want to make it too long. So I think I like that. I am, I'm thinking of maybe increasing the spawn rate by, let's see if I increase it. Now you can increase the spawn rate that will actually give you more of this dash thing, you know. So ladies and gentlemen, I think I like this. So pretty much I can now go ahead to play with the distortion. So we can make this like this. We can make this even like this if you want. So again, I think I like what I had before, which is, let me see this 0.5 or two. I'm going to leave it at one. I think I like this. This is okay. So now we can actually bring in the second curve and uh, kind of like do the same thing, you know? Okay. So I am going to make this a little bit yellowish. So you guys can see how this is just looking so nice. And then we can actually play around with the size. So what I'm doing is I'm just playing around with the size. Okay. You can see that effect is looking pretty sweet. And if I make this 500, that will even be much sweeter. But nah, I'll keep it at 30. And then the... I think for this yellow, maybe I can make it like, eh. yeah, 
yeah something like that yeah i believe this is reasonable So you guys can see, I'm just playing around with the settings, to be honest. There's really, I keep playing around with it till it, it's reasonable for me, that is. So I think I like what I have right now. So let's see, if I play around with this, nah, I don't want, there is a certain game effect that you can actually have, but if, if you're going for cinematics, I don't think you should have game effects. <laughs> Yeah, it look too yeah it will look nice so this is sort of um the final result so if i play this you gotta see that it actually looks so much nicer right yeah look at that looks very nice so another thing we can do is we can actually add in a lightning effect okay so um part of this you can Add a lightning effect. So I'm going to go into my lightning because I spent hours trying to make that to be possible. So if I go here, right? I just hope this works. Okay, so if I go here, I can just copy all this and then bring it to the dash effects. So what I want to do is, huh, I think I like the sparks coming out of him like that. Oh, you can actually go crazy. But I think I'm going to leave it at maybe 10. There's little sparks coming out there and there, you know. Again, this actually depends on the kind of speed he's going for. Because if he's running too fast, obviously sparks are going to be coming out. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you're going to do the flash effect. Okay. So, pretty much... Um, can see we have the dash coming out of him right we can actually change the daylight so we can see this in the night time let's change this real quick so this is what it looks like at night time right oh by the way this glow i don't think i need it wait let me just now think about this yeah you know cw they can't even do this kind of effects. Like the, the flash light speed effect is horrible. Like how can I do something better than them? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. So this looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is let's make the, the flash run on thin air. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this looks good to me. So I'm not really complaining. I think I like it. So in my next film, obviously, I'm going to be using this effect. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. And peace.